Congratulations on the victory. Uh, just give us your immediate reaction to the fight and the finish. Repeat that again. Sorry. Give us the immediate reaction. How do you feel about the fight and the finish? Uh, I feel I feel great, man. I, uh, everything that we that we prepped for, everything that we did, happened. So execution was great. Uh, I'm just ecstatic. Is it a nice feeling when that happens, right? You, you prepare for one specific thing and then it actually plays out. It makes you feel more comfortable, I imagine, in the next camp, planning and plotting. Do you, is it just feel like a job well done? Yeah, it does. Actually, in fact, uh, we had to make a little... I had to make an adjustment on the fly. We wasn't expecting to come out with so many leg kicks and switch his stance and stuff. So I had to like read that and time it to check his kicks. So he got me with a couple, but I was able to check like one or two of them. And... That's how we, then we just progress what our uh, game plan was, which was to get the clinch and finish him in the clinch. It was an elbow that, yeah. that sort of ended the fight, right? Was yep. that, that was the game plan, get him with a big elbow from the clinch inside? Elbow or knee, but we, it was supposed to be getting him in the clinch. Is so, that something that you're just good at or you thought he was susceptible to? A uh, little bit of both. A little both of it. Oh, cool. I, knew I, could, I knew my clinch was way better than his. Uh -huh. So I knew if I, if I put my clinch on him, he was getting away. I was going to put him out. Oh, Even right. if his mother was there, I would have put him out. It was not, it was just <laughs> what it is. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. You looked like you were a weight class above him in there. I didn't realize you were so huge. How much weight are you cutting to get down? Um, what did, I don't, what did I cut this, this camp? What did I cut this camp? You talking post quarantine cut or we talking just? Yeah, that, oof, your boy had that COVID-20. Uh, I was heavy. At the, when I first got the fight, I was walking around like 250. And that was just like video games and wings. That's all I was pretty much doing during COVID. But uh, once I started getting to get into camp and everything, I, I dropped down. I was like hovering around like 235-ish, somewhere around there. And then we started chipping away at the weight. And then when we came in to Vegas, what, what was I? 217 when we landed in Vegas. Wait, didn't you quit playing video games a while back? Did the pandemic uh, uh, make you fall off the wagon? <laughs> yeah, so I did quit video games back when I fought Milstead in Milwaukee. But uh, this time around, one, with the pandemic, there was nothing to do. And two, I started streaming. Um, and once I started streaming, I'm like, all right, little, this is this is the movement now for COVID. Because I, I didn't know what was going to happen with the fights and everything. So I just had to do something to keep saying. Um, just before the fight started, the commentators were talking about how, you know, don't let uh, Mike's nickname fool you because he's not <laughs> actually slow. It should probably be, I think Dominic Cruz said methodical uh, Mike Rodriguez instead. I like that. I like that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that, that's Dominic Cruz, not me. I didn't come up with that one. <laughs> But they also talked about how Marcin is, is, a, is a really fast starter. So it didn't it seemed like it was kind of even Steven Rowe in this one. It didn't really seem like he came out real, real hot. And he, he didn't really get you with anything that I could tell, did he? No, he, he, uh, he got me with a couple of knees, but uh, his knees wasn't nearly like my teammates, like my man Ross Levine uh, or any of my other teammates or Steve Walker, any of those guys. They, when they need me, they blast right through me. His knees was like, it was like nothing compared to theirs. So, but he, and he did get me with a kick, with a leg kick. And I think he, he kicked me in the arm also, something like that. Yeah, Jake knows more about all that stuff. He was on the outskirts. He saw it more than I did. But, yeah, he um, didn't really hit me with much, nah. Well, congrats. You've been in great spirits all week. I don't, you didn't see me, but we talked uh, a few days ago over the over the Zoom thing. So yeah. congrats on the win, man. Thank you. You, you, just, you came to Las Vegas with a great attitude, a great game plan, great mindset, and just put together an impressive win. So, I mean, who are you looking at next? I mean, you, you probably deserve to to get somebody, you know, rank well above you at this point. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just – I just want to get one more fight before the year ends. That's definitely for sure. Um, like I said, I would like to be back here in November. Um, so we'll see what happens. What if it's Fight Island? Then it is Fight Island. <laughs> Will you go there? I'll go. Whatever. Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Hey, Mike, how are you? Jim What's Cage up? Cage side seat. Just talk about your gym, man. Lausanne MMA really making some strong statements lately. Yeah, man, yeah. Uh, we've just been crushing it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, we've been crushing it. Um, uh, we, we got a good formula there, and we've just been making it happen. So 
we saw the striking, but we know in that gym, jujitsu's. You know, you, uh, gotta, we get, you know, we got the jits. I mean, we got the general Joe. Like, he's one of the best MMA grapplers on the planet. So it's like, yeah, he, you know, he he's always instructing us on all of that on uh, on all our ground stuff and everything. But you know, every we even crushing in the stand up department. Everybody want to stand and bang. And last one for me, just when I mean, we're watching, this is an epic fight right here, Frankie Edgar and, and Munoz. To be a co-main on a Frankie Edgar card, man. I want Frankie to win. What's that Because like? we both lost in Busan, and we both need to win tonight. So I'm rooting for Frankie. I hope he's winning. It's close. It's close. But how's it feel to be a co-main on a card with a guy like him, a Hall of Famer? I mean, just look at that and go, wow, I'm a co-main in a Frankie Edgar fight. It's amazing. I, I, like I was telling Jake earlier today, I'm like, yo, he's an idol of mine. I idolize him always. I think he's awesome. The fact that he's he was, what, the smallest guy in his division he won the title. He was, like, the best in the world at one point. Like, it's amazing, you know? So, yeah, I, lo I love him a lot. Man. He's a good dude. I hope, I wish he, uh, hope he wins this fight for sure. I'm going to shut up now so we can watch it. Thanks, man. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs>